I, I, I literally am so fucking pissed. Oh, hey, audience. This is great. Yeah, um, so we recorded a podcast, got about fucking maybe an hour deep. Bro, we spent, we spent so much time. We drafted the first eight picks of the NFL draft. We actually did a fucking trade. We, we did we a did draft day trade. We did a draft. No, we didn't even just do a draft day trade. What were we? We did fucking the XFL. But oh, was that on there? Did we get the XFL on there at least? I don't even know. I don't even I don't know. We were, we, I, I deleted we were past it. That. I deleted it. We were it. past that point. We we had a draft day trade. So what do we have to do? We just what do we just do a quick a quick recap of what we said? Yeah, a quick fucking recap. Okay. okay. Bengals get fucking Joe Burrow. This okay. is an angry fucking oh, yeah. mock oh, yeah. fucking draft. Okay, so and of course the draft day trade, which the Redskins trade back with the twenty sixth pick. And then oh, so the Dolphins with, the Dolphins traded the fifth and the twenty sixth pick in a, in future, a future like third second or third conditional whatever. We literally got the picks fucking down on that. We too. literally had a conditional pick in a stupid hypothetical draft they trade for this draft, and then we had the Dolphins taking Tua at two, and the Lions took Chase Young at three, the Giants took Akuda at four, and the Redskins took, took Simmons it. at five, and the Chargers took Herbert because. Philip Rivers, Ryan Leaf, just they Dean Spanish like gets a hard on like John Elway. Yeah, doesn't hurt. Yeah. Seven, we said Derek Brown because McCoy they're gonna go younger, McCoy's gonna leave, Luke yeah, Keepley left. Gonna leave. They need some defense. Cardinals, obviously, Jerry Judy. Well He's but you know C D Lamb won the combine. Okay, yes, but Jerry Judy Did you Judy, see that catch though? Yeah, it was a good catch. I agree. I'm just saying Jerry Judy was the best. Oh, you're stupid. And, you're stupid. If the Cardinals are taking it, C D Lamb, Oklahoma connection. Kyle Murray's gonna make Oh, oh, I didn't think about that. I think Jerry Judy's the best player. So yeah, I'm but regardless of that But no, you're right, you're right. Kyle Murray You're right. This is not a what we would do. This is a what is that team gonna do in that scenario, right? This is a mock draft. This isn't us. I think the Cardinals would do that because I think if you surround your quarterback with the guy that he threw the ball to in college and you put There's already the chemistry there. Yeah, and you've got Christian Kirk and Larry Fitzgerald and you have a great you have a great center. And center. Isabel. Wow. I think he's gonna be good too. He's fast. Yeah. So, I don't know if he's black or white or mixed. He's white. He's white. He's a white boy. Oh. He went to UMass. So oh. Massachusetts. Oh, he's, he's just a Boston he's kid. He's just a Boston kid. He's a big he's a Boston boy. All right, we have um, Jags next. The Jags. Who, who's the Jags? Uh, AJ. Ep, what? How do you say? AJ Epineza. Epineza. They're getting. They are getting Telvin Smith back. I think this year. So. But I don't know. If, I think they're cut Calais Campbell. But Yaku Nayuki. Yeah, Yannick Ngakwe. No, yeah, that guy. Yeah, close enough. <laughs> Is he a free agent this year? Yeah, he's leaving. Or he said, oh, Deuce, thanks for my time. He um, did? Yeah. Okay, yeah, he was good a few years ago. Um, And he was the guy they wanted to build around. But if he's leaving, the Jags, okay, they are a shitty organization. But, god damn, do they know how to draft pass rushers. Yannick Ngakwe, monster. Dante Fowler Jr. had 11 sacks last but they, year. But they do... He's not for the team. Yeah, no, I do see him doing that because he... Uh, Jonathan... Uh, Josh Allen and... Um, Josh Allen? They just drafted last year. But pair him up with... Pair him up with another rookie pass rusher. AJ Epinesa. you're already losing in Gakwe. So... Boom, you got at least three yeah. years together. You've got... Yeah, you've got a great... Three to four years. You've got a, great, a guy who... Balled out at Iowa. Was he first team All Big Ten or second team? He was an All Big Ten player. Um, I think that's actually. Yeah, I think it's a good pick. I think I think they need to get younger. And if if it, I didn't see that Ngakwe was leaving, but it just makes more sense. They're losing a pass rusher. Uh, you draft the best one available in the draft. Browns. Yeah. Offensive line. Offensive line. They're going with that guy from Bama. They're gonna draft. They're gonna draft either. Jennifer Is that the Rose. first offensive line of the men off the board? Yeah. Who is it? You think the dude from Bama, or they'll take the dude from Georgia? I wonder what this mock draft says. Which offensive line? Because like this is Bleacher Report's big board that I'm going off of, like just the list of the prospects, like in like the order of what he like rates them in terms of talent. But I bet you, oh, this one is the same the Louisville guy. I don't. Think they're just giving him the big combo. And then the, the Jets have the the Bama one. I think the Jets go offensive line too. So the first, 
I think that they're taking the Bama guy. I think the Willis. A, yeah, because there's a history there. You, you've seen what Bama's done with its offensive line. They always put them in the league. They always do well. Some of them do well, but they put them in the league. They, they league their offensive linemen. It makes sense. It's 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 the Bama connection. I have a black friend who goes to Bama, and I asked him, uh, I asked him like if he's ever asked the football players if. The, why they chose Bama? He's like, yeah, they said because uh, Saban puts the M words in the NFL. Who said that? Uh, my friend said that when he asked one of the football players why uh, why they chose Bama. Like one of the white football players, or like yeah. Oh fuck! One of the wow shit, dude. Yeah, he's oh. like he puts ninjas in the NFL. <laughs> he's just fuck. That's true. He's like he's like Saban puts ninjas in the NFL. I'm yeah, like, he does. Uh, Jets would take the, another offensive lineman. They'd probably take the dude from Georgia or the fucking Louisville guy if he's actually rated as a first round prospect, or the dude from Iowa. I don't really know. Raiders, Jordan Love. Do you think the Raiders go quarterback? Uh, it's the Bucks, Broncos. You think the Raiders go? You think the Raiders go QB? Yeah, because the Colts. If... You think John Gruden's gonna bail on Derek Carr? And not try to draft a receiver to surround. If him with Tom comments. Brady, okay, 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 okay. Bro, this Jerry is Judy, Jerry Judy is still on the board because you know the Jets and you know the Browns have a shit offensive line. So okay, okay, let me, let me, let me, let me take this back. Let me take this back. Tom Brady signs with the Las Vegas Raiders. Derek Carr either gets traded to Dallas or Tampa Bay or New England or New England or Chicago. Sign and trade. Sign, sign and trade. Sign and trade. Tom Brady and Derek Carr sign and trade. Okay. Okay. So if that happens, they draft Jerry Judy. Out of Alabama. Alabama. Well, their next pick will be Jordan Love. So they can stow him behind Tom Brady because they pick later. Well, it depends on how many quarterbacks we've got. So where are we at? So the Raiders just picked Jerry Judy. With the 12th pick. In the 13th pick in the 2020 NFL so, draft. The Indianapolis Colts select. Eric Berry's going there, they're saying. So that picks up safety. They got. They don't have to take Grant Delpit, although he, I like him out of Louisiana, out of LSU. Uh, who's, the, who's the prospects up here? What? There is Henry Ruggs, who okay. I like. And God knows T.Y. Hilton can't stay on the field. Their line is good. They God do knows. need a receiver. Running backs could be taken care of. They don't have a pass rush. Lamar Houston's there. Was it a one-year deal or a two-year deal? I think two years. I don't know. They don't have a pass rush. Who's pass? Who's the next best pass rusher to find? The dude from forward? Bama, Terrell Lewis. But do they actually take him? This is a weak year for pass rushers because Epinesa is. I think they take a receiver. Because T.Y. Hilton can't stay on the board. Yeah, they he don't. Can't say they do have Paris Campbell, but he didn't do shit. Yeah, they have. They, they, they didn't. Dude, fucking Jacoby Brissett was thrown to nobody's. But then you could also say they could take Jacob Eason or. Yeah, but I think that they would rather just, you know, buy receivers because I think Jacoby. No, Philip Rivers is going to the uh, Colts, they're saying. So Philip Rivers signs there. They don't draft the quarterback. They definitely draft the receiver then. And the guys that are still available, because CeeDee Lamb and Judy are off both on the board, but there's still T. Higgins and there's still Devontae Smith from Bama. If if they do get Phillip Rivers and those two receivers go off, they get T. Higgins over Henry Ruggs because he fits the offense a bit uh, better. Because you think they're not, you think they're gonna go T. Higgins over Henry Ruggs? Because T. Higgins is six four, Ruggs is five I eleven. Think, I, I yeah, Jacoby Brissett's kind of got to lob it up there to those big boys. Or Phillip Rivers. Or not Philip Rivers if they get him. Uh, either way, Phillip and they're lo- losing Eric Ebron. They yeah, need a red zone they, target. They have Jack Doyle, but like they they, they still need to get big. Like, T.Y. Like, Hilton's not a big He's boy. a better offensive scheme for Henry. You saw what Alshon Jeffries did in the one year in Frank Reich's offense in Philadelphia. He yeah. had touchdowns. And, like, you've also seen what Philip Rivers has done with guys like Antonio Gates and Vincent Jackson. And Michael Williams. Yeah. Um, like, he's he's had big boys. He's knows the ball, too. Buccaneers. Well. Do they go? Who's the next? Well, this is one team that... In a, in a great class of receivers, they don't need one because they have two of the best in the league on their team. I think the Bucks defense is dog shit. What about their line? So they either go also bad, but Andrew Thomas is off the board because him and Buccaneers Jay, draft Grant Delpit. I think they grant. De- I think they go Delpit, or they their go DeAndre Swift. 
I don't think they drafted a running back in the first round. They had the worst pass defense in the league. Okay, they had so the best run defense in the league. Grant they Delpit. Had the worst Grant pass Delpit. defense in the league. They, they need they need somebody. Dallas Cowboys. And there's no good corners besides like, well, there's a couple of good guys. Like, the dude from LSU, Christian Fulton. But, like, that's just not a good value. So, we're agreeing them. on... 14. We're agreeing on fucking Grand Delta. Yeah, Grand Delta. Okay. The, the uh, Denver Broncos. They're an interesting team. Because... They go Ken Law. Or a- Andrew Thomas. Is Henry Ruggs still on the board? Yeah, but I don't see Henry Ruggs going to the Eagles. Or the Dallas Cowboys. Because Dallas Cow, if the Dallas Cowboys lose Amari Cooper, that's fair actually. Um, where would Amari sign though? Eagles. Uh, I don't think Amari would leave in the division like that. I mean, I don't know, man. He could. Because uh, if they lose him, I, I don't think Dallas wants to lose him. I think they want. I think they want to keep both of them. Who who is cap space? Um, the Colts have a lot of it. Colts. Colts have a fuck ton of it. Um, the Dolphins have a lot of it, but they're not spending. Um, Jacksonville. Jacksonville's got Jets. The Jets. No, might. they're not going to spend again. The Jets won't spend on a receiver. But if the Jets are spending, it'll be on the offensive line and free agency. Seattle. No, because they they got to lock up Russ. They locked up Russ. Tennessee. Maybe. There's just the Cowboys won't have the money if they try if they keep that da- Dak. Yeah, that's that's true. They won't have the money, and that is the problem. It's like, do they actually keep Amari? But it's like, where does Amari go? Um. But does he go to Pittsburgh? Or Baltimore, maybe? Because I know the Colts have cap space. I think there's one team that would sign that would be in the Colts. The Redskins. The Redskins do like to spend in free agency. We know this. They love. We know they love the Giants, sign teams. right? Don't they have cap space? They got money. We know the Redskins love to sign teams from division rivals in free agency. They did that with Landon Collins. There's always the Raiders. There is always the Raiders. The homecoming. I, I doubt he goes. Back. I doubt it. I doubt he goes back to Gruden after the Gruden fucking traded him. I Wait. just say uh, Denver Broncos. Who do we say? It's Lyman or Ken Law. <coughs> uh, they have they have Chubb, so it'd be Andrew Thomas. But he's off the board. Who do you go to? Um, they did fucking Jets, Jets and Browns. No, we said the Jets took. Um, the Jets not. Jet. We said the Jets and Browns would take the guy, uh, either the Willis Junior guy or. Uh, Tristan Wirfs. Oh, so then they, we're saying they both got both of them. Okay, so Andrew Thomas is available. He goes to Denver. Atlanta gets either Kenneth Murray. Kenneth Murray on defense because their defense is dog shit, or they get Terrell Lewis because they need so to So the Cowboys now get Henry Ruggs, you think? It's... I'm assuming that they would try to get Henry Ruggs, but like maybe that in this hypothetical scenario that they keep Amari Cooper. No, they don't. There's no. There's. There's no way you think they choose Dak over Amari, and they don't. They can't. Because like they can draft corner here, because like they need one. They can't because, um. Well, I can't afford it. They just can't afford it. They have to keep Dak Prescott. <coughs> you know what I mean? They. You can't give up Dak Prescott. They also have Michael Gallup on a rookie deal. Yeah. He played half the year and still balled out. So. Uh, yeah. I, I think that they would probably take. Um, I think they'd probably take Rugs if, they, if they're going to go receiver, assuming they lose Amari. They, they get another Bama receiver in their team, um, and then they have Michael Gallup and Henry Ruggs on rookie deals, and they've got Dak throwing the ball to both of them. Yeah, exactly. It'll be, it'll be a good fit. They've got Zeke in the backfield. They won't have Amari, so their offense won't be as good, but they hopefully they address the defense late in the draft because their defense is dog shit. Exactly. So where are we at? The Eagles. No, we're at the Dolphins. The, the Cow- oh, wait. yeah. The Dolphins, Eagles. second pick. Okay, Dolphins, second right. pick, 18, that they didn't trade. They go defense. Who's the next best defender? Um, Terrell Lewis from Bama. Yeah. They need pass rush. Yeah, they need pass rush. That was pretty easy. Raiders. This is where Raiders Jordan, Jordan Love. This right is here. where Jordan Love. If Tom Brady... 
and Derek Carr traded. Derek Carr's traded. Assuming this hypothetical universe, that's what happened. Yes. Yes. We talked about it. The Reds but game. but what was what did we say if earlier if they didn't trade Tom Brady at twelve, um, they would take. But that they would, they'd use their first round picks to trade up. No, no, no. If they don't take Tom Brady at tw- uh, don't get Tom Brady. Who was their other option? Oh, they C. D. Pro- Lamb. They right? probably they, no. It, that was before uh, Judy was off the board. See, who did Judy go to? Um, he went to the. I thought he went to the Colts, right? Because they signed Phillip. No, we said T. Higgins. We said Ju- Oh, we had C. D. Lamb either going to the. C. Ra- D. Lamb was Cardinals. No, I mean Judy went to the Raiders. Yeah, because took- they had Tom, and then they had Jordan Love with the next pick. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. Yeah, Judy went to the Raiders because they had they had um because they traded. They're like, we gotta go. We can win now because we have Tom Brady and we'll surround him with talent. So, and we said regardless of if Tom Brady came or not, because they need a receiver. They need even. a receiver anyway. And so it's like they even with the car, even with their car, they would still need. Get yeah, Judy. they would still need it. It's just now they have Tom Brady. It's like now we have a great rookie receiver, and then we're also drafting a, the Tom Brady success. But if Derek Carr doesn't come. I mean, if Derek Carr doesn't leave, it's still Judy right there. It's just they won't take Jordan Love. So who, did, who does uh, that pick then go to? What, the 19th pick? Yeah. So assuming that, Jordan, assuming that the Tom Brady trade doesn't... So so we're saying that... Tom Brady doesn't get to go there. Tom Brady doesn't go there. They've already taken Judy. But they need a new... They need a new player. See, they had one of these cornerbacks. You think they, I think they take a corner. Yeah. But, yeah. like... I don't know anything about these corners. I see. Uh, I, I know the LSU guy. I know that. I know the LSU guy. Is he good? Christian Fulton. Yeah, he was a he was a high school All American. He played opposite of a first team All American as a true freshman, but like he was still really good, and he was like an All SEC player. Okay. And he's also like six two, so he's a big guy. All right, like, so we'll say Fulton because that just sounds like prototypical. Prototypical six Mike two Mayock player. type. Like, so like you know he's in love with you know everybody falls in love with the big boys. All right, next one is the Jacksonville Jaguars. We have them going defensive line, and I think they'd go corner now because they lost Jalen Ramsey. They'd probably take one of the one of these two. Fuck it, fuck it. Henderson we'll say, or a Debo. We'll say we'll say fucking Henderson. Henderson. Keep it in the region. Keep it in the region. Stay. With so them. the Eagles here, they lost. They out. go receiver, and I no DeAndre Swift at this position because they have no running backs. And all the no, they have Miles Sanders on a on a rookie deal, and he took over at the end of the year. But how much better would it be DeAndre Swift and Miles? Not Sanders? that much better to have both of them. You already have De- Miles Sanders and a bunch of other back. But is this right? They, they gave Miles Sanders twenty five touches a game. Is Chenault Junior really that good? He ran a four five. Okay, but he's also he like ran, six four. You also have Devontae Smith, who was and also you already really have good. RC got uh, what JJ RC. He's got dog shit. Side. Don't even tell me that he's good. He was getting uh he was he was a liability. They preferred to throw to seventh round pick who was a quarterback in college, Greg Ward Jr. over at the end of the year. They have no receivers. They need to draft the receiver, and it's gonna be one of those two guys. It's either gonna be LaVisca Chenault or Devontae Smith. I think they probably go with the what's his face from Colorado, just because he has more consistent tape, because he was the number one option in this team. Whereas Devontae Smith was like the What's Devontae Smith size? Uh he's like six one. He's the dude who caught the pass in the national title. I think he's six one. Uh, let's see his measurables. From the combine? No, like his measurables on the Bama. Six one one sixty five. Okay, so he's six one. All right, I'll take. Um, I'd say Chenault because I think they want. Yeah. I think they want a big boy. Bills. Bills. To... I think the Bills would also go receiver. No, because Jonathan they... Taylor. Yeah, no, because they have Devin Singletary and they planned up. Oh yeah, yeah. Probably use him a lot more. Um, I don't know what the Bills. Ooh, because like I don't think they go receiver. Who's their other quarter besides Trevadius White? Um, fucking no. I was gonna say Ronald Darby, but he plays for the Eagles now. Um, take the Adabu guy. Yeah, he's still on the board. Yeah, take a the defense next to Tredavious White. Patriots. 
I think the Patriots need a receiver. No, I think they take. I think they probably take Devontae Smith because he's still on the board. I know they have Nikhil Harry from last year. Yeah, but they still need talent. Are you kidding me? They like don't have anybody receiver. They need either. They're either going defense right here with. Uh, gross mate, the Maintis, Penn State. or Jonathan Taylor to be their downhill running back. Do they, you think they draft another running back in the first round after Sony Michelle? Oh shit, they still have Sony Michelle. I mean, he's bad, and like, but like they still like that was the last time they drafted a running back in the first round, and it's like fuck, we fucked up there. We don't want they don't they, you don't. Build. Jonathan Taylor would be a nice second round pick for them, but like, um, uh, yeah, I guess they go edge because they need Yatur Gross Matus from Penn State. Yeah. Um, the Saints go corner, I guess. Stop, get somebody across Lattimore. Yeah, because they, they've been plagued by that all year. When, when Lattimore left the game against the... when Remember when Lattimore... So Lattimore left the game against the Vikings in the playoffs? No, I think they go uh, Kelvon, chase him because um, Marcus Davenport isn't good. He's not very good. And they have Sheldon Rankins, and he's good. But uh, uh, he's defensive they tackle. Cam, yeah, they have, and they have Cam Jordan on the other side. Yeah, I think they go defensive yeah. line. And I think the Vikings take uh, Diggs' brother. To keep, Trayvon Diggs. To keep Diggs yeah, there. Yeah, because Xavier Rhodes sucks. Yeah, uh, Dolphins. Redskins. Redskins at this pick. I think they take a corner or no. Nah. I think they need a receiver. Who would be the receiver, Devontae Smith? He's still on the board, yeah, they need receivers. Yeah, the best receiver was Terry McCoy. Devontae Smith. Rookie, now you pair him up with Terry McCoy. I think it's pretty decent. And, yeah. It's a decent rookie combo. They have some potential there. So yeah. Time. 27, Xavier McKinney to replace um, Earl Thomas's. Because they still have not replaced it with a safety. They started like Tedrick Thompson there last year. Baltimore Ravens, they need an edge rusher. Probably the dude from Notre Dame. He's the only edge rusher available right now because all the other edge rushers have been off the board. Honestly. Well, let me see who's behind them. The dude from Wisconsin. I could see Donovan People Jones. You think they go receiver? You think, well, they try, you think they try to go receiver? You get him more targets if they don't get anyone. Or Justin Jefferson. Yeah, they might go Justin Jefferson or Donovan People Jones. One of the two. I think they might go Justin Jefferson. They could go. Maybe. Tiny C10s definitely go corner, so Shade Wade, Sean Wade. I think they would. Yeah. And Mark Spears. No. And Marlon Humphrey. Oh, the Titans. Oh, yeah, they'd go corner. So Sean Wade. Yeah. Green Bay Packers. Yeah, there's someone opposite Logan Ryan. They They don't need pass rushing because they have. Ashton Davis? They have a good pass rush. They already have. Well, they have Darnell Savage. But they don't have another safety. So, we'll go Wait, who's their other safety? No, it's well, Adrian Amos. It's Adrian Amos. They, they, have, they have both. They have their two starting safety spots locked up. They just paid Adrian Amos in free agency last year. And there's no lineman besides Austin Jackson if they really want to reach. Yeah. Or Tyler B- Bidez. But, like, the. Because, ooh, they, they are another team that I think is right for a receiver, actually. Unless they want to get, like, Jacob Eason. Well, unless they send him behind Rodgers. Unless they want to go with, like, Justin Jefferson or someone because they need something besides Devontae Adams at receiver. Because, like, yeah. it's obvious. Let's say Justin Jefferson, then? Yeah, Justin Jefferson. Okay, uh, 49ers. Ooh. What do you guys need? Mm, well, we also will probably be losing... Uh, Emmanuel Sanders in the off season. So, you think you go Donovan People Jones? If he's the best receiver that's available, or we go Michael Pittman Jr. from USC and keep it in Cali. There's a lot of good receivers available. The problem is it's what we need, or we we could reach and because like we're not taking a running back. There's a fuck ton of running backs on here, and we're not taking a running back because the Niners already have enough. But they might cut Tevin Coleman. That's one thing I saw is the Tevin Coleman will get cut. Because they'd, yeah. roll, and they'd roll out with Matt Breida and Raheem Mostert. Chiefs take defense. Chiefs take defense. Although the Chiefs, Chiefs, de- Chiefs secondary is good. Sure the Chiefs wouldn't take out a line. Mm. Have somebody opposite Mitchell Schwartz. Austin Jackson. Yeah. Have somebody opposite Mitchell Schwartz. Well, they have Eric Fisher. He sucks, though. He's average. Yeah. 
They could take that Biata's guy because they, they could use a guard. That was, yeah. like, the most exhausting fucking... They could use that Biata's guy because they might need a guard. Oh, my God. Well, that was a interesting retake. That was fucking... So, yeah, we uh, decided... For the process, we randomly decided that the Redskins would trade down, and it'd be a lot cooler if, like, we if we just, get that right, we're we're fucking sick. If we got that when we, for some reason, discovered that, because like it's cool to see like you just come up with something out of nowhere and run with it, but then apparently that didn't happen because it wasn't recorded. Yeah, no, but uh, honestly, it so, makes sense because for because the Redskins have more it holes. Makes sense. They have. They have a lot of holes. The Dolphins have already started to shore up those holes. They and I th- don't need a, the Dolphins don't need a receiver in a class that's deep at receiver because they had Devontae Parker on a career year and they have Preston Williams who was an undrafted rookie and he showed promise. They just need a quarterback. And the thing is, is the <coughs> Redskins. I feel like they're gonna either they're gonna get Alex Smith is gonna be back this off season. So Alex Smith and Dwayne Haskins are gonna go out. If Dwayne ha- they're gonna give Dwayne Haskins a full season to be the quarterback and to beat out Alex Smith in training camp in the off season. So if Dwayne Haskins can't be, be- can't beat out a thirty six year old coming off a threat a career threatening injury, that shows he isn't worth being the franchise quarterback. So they'll put Alex Smith, Smith try to win as many games possible, probably end up tanking unless somehow Ron Rivera coaches this team into playoff. And they'll draft the quarterback in next year's draft between Justin Fields and Trevor yeah, Lawrence. I agree. Because they n- this is not a one-step fix with them. If you watch them in every game, they were bad in a lot of different places. Just when you thought their offense was starting to get good, their defense would suck. They are a bad team, and you need to get more picks. Yeah. And they just need to get picks. So... Drafting someone Isaiah Simmons like fifth and then getting an extra first round. Like Chase Young would be great, but like if you get more picks, like you're saying, have two first round picks. Now you got who do we have them going? They had a corner, right? Yeah, they had a corner at the end of the draft. Yeah, so it's like and their past their defense is dog shit because no receiver Receiver. Devontae Smith. They got Devontae Smith. So they got they got got Devontae Smith and Terry McLaurin. They got help for whichever quarterback, which. If it is their rookie first rounder from a year ago that they drafted, which is why I don't think that they would give up on him after a year. I know the Arizona Cardinals did it, but that's not exactly a blueprint for like success in the NFL. And also, we they also say, hired Cliff Kingsbury, so they really went balls to the wall. I wouldn't be surprised if Ron Rivera goes with Dwayne Haskins due to the fact that it'd be the first coach to believe in Dwayne Haskins because John uh, Jay Gruden never started him and then Bill Can I really like Bill Callahan as a fucking head coach of the Redskins. I thought he should. As the Redskins? I mean, I guess, yeah. But, like, I don't really think it was a good fit. I think Ron Rivera is a better fit. They ran the ball so well with Bill Callahan. Okay, but, like, they're still limited offensively. It's like Bill Bill Callahan... He helped instill culture. He helped get that team... To where it needed to be, I think, it, for the season. Because they were dog shit, and they had no direction under Jay Gruden, and he lost the team. So, Bill Callahan kind of came, and it was like, yeah, I'm probably not going to be that coach here, but uh, I'm already coaching the league. I'll just coach the season and keep the young guys on track. So, I think it's like, like they suck, and their franchise is so horribly run. The head coach is the least of their worries because they have shitty management. And the one positive for them is that Bruce Allen got fired. So they might have a chance to move forward now that the guy who caused all of their suffering... What's her, uh, her name? Dan Snyder? That's their owner. He's still there. So they got he doesn't sold the team. But they fired the fucking president. Like of the past of the, like, 12 yeah, years. Bruce Allen. The guy who... Drafted RG3. Signed Albert Hainsworth, too. He's still here. Yeah, he signed Albert Hainsworth. Why did he keep him for so fucking long? <laughs> That's, he signed the worst free agent deal in history. He paid Albert Haynes with $100 million bucks, and he was the most dog shit player for them, despite the fact he was like a first-team All-Pro for the Titans. NFL, NFL doesn't make sense. He, and he, it was a different <coughs> scheme, too. They didn't even, he didn't even have the same scheme. He was playing a different scheme, playing for a different coach. He actually balled out on the Patriots when he got released. He did. Albert Haynes. Albert Haynes, he was good like, when he came back. 
for a different team. He went to the Super Bowl with the Patriots. Yeah. He was um, fucking first team. He was so good for the Titans. And then he just went to the Redskins and sucked. I mean, hey, it happens. Not everybody can, like, translate their skills for their teams. It's like, it's weird how that works out like that. Like, you'll see guys, they just... Javon Kearse. Nobody remembers him. Yeah. He was for the Titans? And the Eagles. Yeah, he was good. Javon Kears. He was a freak. Yeah, he was a fucking freak. He was really good. That was his name, the freak. Yeah, he was so fucking good. He was a 16th pick. He played like 10 years. He's like a. He's like a. He made. He was. How many times did he make the Pro Bowl? He ran a four four. How like, tall is he? Like six six. Six five, but in an eighty six inch uh, wingspan and a forty eight inch. So he had a four four forty at how heavy? A two sixty. What the fuck? That's like Jadavion Clowney shit. Jadavion Clowney is like the most impressive genetic freak that I've seen. Or Miles Garrett. Miles Garrett. Let's see his stats. Yeah, yeah dude. He's, he had the rookie record for sacks. Who? Javon Kears? Uh, so look at this. His first three years, he played all 16 games and had double-digit sacks all three years. Never, only played one 16 full season one more time than the rest of his career and never had double-digit sacks. Every time he'd come close, but he never would have a full season. Yeah, he took, because I remember he had the rookie record for sacks. Like he was so gay when he was when he was young, but he just had injuries. Remember Alden Smith? Yeah. Alden Smith, second year in the league, nineteen sacks. In his rookie year, he had like eleven sacks, and he played like half the year. He didn't start the entire year. What happened to Alden Smith? Just DUIs. Uh DUIs and a bunch of other legal issues, and uh, we caught him, and then the Raiders signed him, and then he got a DUI, and then Justin Blackman, another one. People head out in bars. They, they, they had, like, teams. Like, there was that one story on Flambo's video. What was it with Justin Blackman? Did, have you seen the Flambo video? Yeah, but... Uh, so the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, like, sent some dude, like, to go watch him. Jacksonville Jaguars, man. No, this is the Bucks because they didn't draft him. They sent some dude to go watch Justin Blackman. They had, like, they had the guy they hired him, like, follow him around and see how many times, like, he'd go to the bar and how many times he would drink. And they wanted to see what they were getting themselves into. And the guy came back and he told him. And he's like, yeah, the results weren't good. Really? He was like an alcoholic? Yeah. So they didn't draft him. Holy shit. I mean, they, I mean, yeah, look at what happened after. If you not, that, you should watch that Flambo video. That one's a good one. Uh, the uh, What Happened to Justin Blackman? I did not know that was in there. Yeah, it's pretty fucking cool. It's like, they, so they saw, they went back and they saw... And, like, all those guys, like, they wanted to see how many times he went in there. And then they were like, yeah, you probably should be drafting him. I, was, I mean, I guess that's good. They, 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 they didn't take him. That's fucking crazy. I don't and know. he went to the Jags. And he had, like, a couple of good games. He had, like, a couple of, like, decent years. Like, he showed flashes. But, like, he was never, like, the dominant. And that, he was never the dominant receiver he was in college. That's fucking crazy. Just because he fucking um. Who do you get the first pick in the NBA draft? Well, I don't know how the lottery works out, but like it's all even. Every team has a fair chance. No, it's not. It's, it's done by it's done by like certain teams of the lottery. It's random now. No, it's not. Yeah, it's random now to stop tanking. I don't know. They changed it. Yeah. No, it's it. See, look at it. It's just the top five have like similar odds. Uh, okay. So I think so. Like it's Warriors, Knicks, and Cavs are all even right now. They have about odds for the one pick. I literally think it's gonna go James Wiseman, Anthony Edwards. Like the Warriors will not pick outside of the top five. The Knicks will not pick outside of the top six. The Warriors are gonna go get J- James Wiseman wherever in the top three. I agree. Knicks, because they're not going to take it. Knicks are going to take Lamelo Ball wherever they go, unless they get in that. Just because I know they're Knicks, they're going to get the third pick, and the Cavs are going to get the pick in front of them because that's just how it works. And the Cavs are going to take Edwards, then the Knicks are going to take Lamelo Ball. Yeah, because that's just what it, the ball's meant for New York. Um, 
The Timberwolves are going to fucking take... I don't even know. Who point. else is good? Who else is good besides those three? They got their point guard fixed. I guess the shooting guard is the next best shooting guard on the board. Besides Anthony Edwards. I don't fucking know. Um, I don't know who they take. Let, let, let me see the fucking... Um, Okay, so this one is Obi Toppin at three from Dayton. Yeah, they might take him. He's pretty fair to go. The dude from Dayton. Cole Anthony, UNC. What guy from Dayton? Obi Toppin? Obi Toppin. Yeah, he's fucking insane. Obi Toppin would, if, okay, if Timberwolves get four, Timberwolves take Obi Toppin because the Warriors take James Wideman over Anthony Edwards. Yeah. yeah. Obi Toppin because you put Carl Anthony Towns at power forward and Obi Toppin down below. Has so much calling thing at six. Nico Manny at seven. Daniel at two at eight. Yeah, he's really good for Minnesota. Some dude from fucking Israel. Yes. That Avija guy, yeah, he's really Denny good. Denny Avija, seen, he's yeah. insane for Marby Atelva. What's up? What's up, guy? Oh, hey. What are you boys up to? We're recording a podcast. Yeah. In the yeah. Frame. We, we're quite literally the last people here right now. Oh, there's you no one here? Yeah, there's nobody here. Please, oh. Hey. Yeah. That's good, that's good. Alright, we'll conclude this episode of 23 or 24. It's actually either 24 or 25 of the Fast Times podcast. This unfortunate reshoot because we lost all the footage. Yeah, we actually, we've been recording for like two hours, but you guys are getting probably only 30 minutes. We did so, talk yeah. about the XFL and other shit, but you did get the whole mock draft we just did. But it was a short version because we lost all the original awesome footage. Fuck! Yeah. All right, you guys get sucked some right. cocks. I'll talk to you guys later.